Hello everybody, All Night Gamer Guy here. I'm back to playing more Yu-Gi-Oh! We're continuing playing as the opponents, and we are playing as <clears throat> Leo. Excuse me. Chaos Burst Attack. We're going to play as Leo, and we're going to line up against Griger. Decided to use my Toon World card. I summon Toon Goblin Attack Force. I'll place this card face down. That's end my that ends my turn. Yeah, it's not gonna matter. I use one card one monster face down. Then my goblin attack force will attack. And it can't be destroyed in battle because of that. Thanks to my goblin attack force. Goes special ability goes into defense mode. Eh. All right. Uh, activate Toon Kingdom. Shoot. That's right, this monster's special ability. I keep forgetting about this monster's special ability. Oh, this sucks. <sighs> Place one monster face down. That's all I can do. Activate Tomb Briefcase. Send that monster. Back to the deck, and my opponent has to reshuffle. Okay. Um, I'll just end my turn. I seriously can't do anything, which sucks, but what can you do? I've never seen that monster before. But I'm going to activate Toon Briefcase. I summon Toon Gemini Elf. Another threatening roar? Hello. This will really help. Activate Toon Table of Conduct. 
Now I can take a card with Toon in its name. And I choose my Toon Kingdom. Now I activate Toon Mask. I take Mystical Tomato. Then I can summon Summon a four star monster. Now, I think I'll just attack directly. Now I sacrifice my royal magical library and my goblins, my toon goblins, so I can summon Toon Buster Blader. Oh darn. I activate Toon World Toon Kingdom's effect. I activate Terraforming. I'll get a third copy of Toon Kingdom straight to my hand. Now I'll activate Shadow Toon. Now my opponent takes damage equal to, my, to the monster's attack points. Then I activate Comet Hand to take control of that same monster. Now my monsters will attack directly. Okay, so we got that taken care of. Now we're going up against Yusei. This time, I think I'll choose Hmm I think I'll choose my Gravekeeper deck and The character I'm playing as is Hunter, huh? I like Hunter's style Whole biker, flame hair I don't know, I was always a fan of that All right. Now I can add a Gravekeeper to my hand thanks to Necro Valley Throne Room. Then I'll send my Gravekeeper Ender to the graveyard. Now I'll activate the Field Spell Necro Valley. Then I'll summon Gravekeeper Spiritualist. And I activate her ability. Now I can fuse her and a gravekeeper monster from my a monster from the her from the field and one in my hand to summon Gravekeeper Supernaturalist. I activate his ability. Now when my turn now during my opponent's turn. I get to take one on Gravekeeper or Necro Valley card on my deck and add it to my hand. And I choose Hidden Temple of Necro Valley. I activate my trap, Necro Valley Temple. Thanks to this card, all my monsters on my opponent's side of the field. It loses 500 life, 500 attack points, while my Necro Valley gain, gives my Gravekeepers 500 extra attack points.
attack and defense points. Now attack. I activate another copy of Necro Valley Throne. Let's see now. I'll grab another copy of Gravekeeper Supernaturalist. Then I'll summon her to the field and repeat the process. Activate my super my new supernaturalist ability. Now I'll grab Necro Valley Priestess by my deck straight to my hand. Then I'll place her in attack mode. Now I activate Oil or Tribute. <laughs> if you control Necro Valley, both players discard any monsters in their hand. He had all the cards in his hand were monsters. Sheesh. Sucks for Yusei in this duel, anyway. Alright, let's see how much time I got left. Ooh, I got time for one more duel. This time I'm playing as Geiger. And I think this time I'll use my Cyber Deck for this one. I activate Cyber Emergency. Now I will take one Cyber Monster, light one Light Machine Monster from my deck and add it to my hand. Then I'll summon Cyber Valley. That'll end my turn. I activate Cyber Valley's ability. By removing it from play, I get to draw one card and end the battle phase. I activate Cyber Dark Cannon's effect. Now, I'll take one Cyber Dark Monster from my deck and add it to my hand. And I choose Cyber Dark Horn. So now I think I will summon that very monster, Cyber Dark Horn, in attack mode. Activate his ability. Now I can equip him with Cyber Dark Cannon. Now my monster will attack. I can draw one card thanks to my cannon's ability. I end my turn.
I activate the field spell card Cyber Dark Infinite Infernity. Now I think I'll summon Cyber or Instar. And I'll activate his ability. Paying up 5,000 of my life points, I could summon this Cyber Twin Dragon. Now my dragon will attack. Enough with that already. Thank you. All right, that ends my turn. Uh-oh, I lost. Well, I have two wins and one loss, so. I'm gonna use my dragon deck. Excuse me. All right. I place one card face down, and I'll summon Dragon Knight of Crux of Creation. Now, I attack with him. Now I activate his ability. Now I could send one level 7 or level 8 dragon type monster to the graveyard. And that'll end my turn. Uh -huh. Wait, he's not using my monster to synchro summon? Okay, I activate Twin Tornado. I send one monster to the graveyard. Now I can destroy two of your trap or spell cards. So return to me, my monster. Now I activate. Hit my monster's effect. By sending it to the graveyard, I can summon the blue eyes. Now I activate Return of the Dragon. Good lord. This allows me to bring back like a level 7 or 8 dragon type monster. And I choose blue eyes. Now for an XC summoning. I take two blue eyes white dragons in order to summon a monster I haven't never used before, as far as I know. Thunder under end dragon. Now I activate its ability. By removing one overlay unit, 
It destroys all other monsters on my opponent's side of the field. There's all other monsters on my on the field. Now my dragon will attack. I activate Return of the Dragon's effect. By banishing this L card, I can protect my dragon. My dragon will attack. And thanks to Dragon's Rage, it's the difference between my monster's attack points between my monster's attack points and your monster's defense points. The difference comes out of your life points. Ugh, I'm getting tongue-tied. I summon Paladin. Now I activate her ability. Now I can equip her with the dragon in my deck. And I lose Arc Brain Dragon. <clears throat> yeah, I figure I summon her anyway. But yeah, that'll do it. Okay, I got three wins and one loss. So, next time we're going to finish, we're going to play it as Alexis Rose. Then we'll play as Jack and Leo again. So, thank you so much for watching. With all that being said, I meant to say, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Oh, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. All Night Gamer Guy, out.